Hi everyone, I am Wadda Dawahi. In this video, I want to explain how to install and boot Linux server from LAN using iSCSI protocol into parts. So, in part 1, I will explain how to install Linux server on iSCSI disk over network. To do that, I will follow three steps. The first step is about how to install and config iSCSI target. The second step explain how to install and config DHCP server and the third step how to install a Linux server on iSCSI disk over network. And part two is about how to boot a Linux server from LAN using iSCSI and also I will follow three steps where the step number one is about how to install and config TFTP server Step number two, how to reconfig DHCP server. Step number three, how to boot Linux server from LAN using iSCSI disk. Now, let's begin with part one. Step one, to install Linux server over network using iSCSI disk, that means the disk is located on another server, you should install iSCSI target utils. I'm using the hard disk SDB. To verify the disk space, you can use the fdisk command. So, fdisk minus l sdb. The hard disk sdb has 4 gigabytes. And also, the iSCSI target tool has the name iSCSI minus target minus utils and to install it you can use the command yum install iSCSI minus target minus utils so yum install iSCSI iSCSI target minus utils in my case it is already installed now to configure the iSCSI target I will edit its configuration file so vi slash etc slash tgt slash target scroll down in my case i choose this name for target name iqn.2013 minus 11 dot tn dot wadah dawahi red hat iSCSI for baking store it is SDB hard disk and I choose other option vendor ID product ID product revision iSCSI ID iSCSI serial name and logical unit number is one save and exit and now you should start the iSCSI daemon with the command service tgtd start service tgtd start or restart and for auto start when booting you can use the chk config chk config tgtd on by the way to verify the iSCSI configuration you can use the tgt minus admin command with option minus s so tgt minus admin minus s to verify target name logical unit number one and the hard disk sdb and that's it for the first step and now the second step to install the dhcp server you can use yum install dhcp minus command so yum install dhcp minus command in my case, it is already installed. To configure the GHCP server, I will edit the file slash etc dhcp d 
hcpd.conf by the way my network address is 50.50.50.0 with netmask 24 and the hcp range from 250 to 252 and there are some options broadcast address sub netmask and routers and the configuration as you see so save and exit now start or restart your dhcp server with the command service dhcpd restart service dhcpd restart and that's it for the second step now step 3 so step 3 is about how to install linux server on iSCSI disk over network so to do that you have to create a virtual machine in my case i am using oracle virtual box and you can download it for free so Go to new to create a virtual machine, choose a name. In my case, I'm using Red Hat like a Linux server. So name, I choose Red Hat. Ice, 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 for example, desk. So next, up the memory size to, for example, 900 megabyte next and for hard disk do not add a virtual hard disk so create press continue you can see now that the virtual machine is built so go to customize the hardware system activate network Disable hard drive, also disable floppy disk. Go to storage. I'm using the Red Hat Linux server 6.2 ISO image file. Go to network. So for the network adapter, I want to choose the host only adapter and the network driver is, I want to choose PCNet fast fee. And everything looks okay. So, okay. Now I will start this virtual machine. So click to start. It found Red Hat Linux and it is automatically boot. Just loading. I will wait. Let's take time. Waiting for hardware to initialize. I want to choose escape.
now I want to switch to full screen switch now I can work through the installation steps so press next for language I want to choose English next for the keyboard my keyboard is Azerty so I want to choose French PC next and uh, the question is what type of devices will your installation involve so I want to choose specialized storage devices this option will allow you to add an SAC disk so press next and now I want to choose advanced target so how would you like to modify your drive configuration I want to choose add ESAC type so press add drive yes I want to choose I want to choose this network adapt click ok and now I want to choose close so waiting for network manager to activate so, to use ASAC disks you must provide the address of your ASAC target so my the IP address of the ASAC target is 50.50.50.62 and I want to modify the initiator name 2013 11 initiator red hat for example then hit start discovery Oh, it found it. It's IPN two zero thirteen eleven and dot TN dot what the way Red Hat ASAC press login, hit login also successfully log good. That's good. Scanning ICAC ICAC notes. Now press next to continue. Yes, I want to discard my data any data. The host name I want to choose for example red hat dot my domain name or the dot tm and I want to hit to next to continue okay now choose time zone i'm from tunisia so i want to choose tunis africa now oh, press next password next use anyway I want to choose use all space next right change to disk now on the process of the installation will begin And it takes a time to continue. Creating device, creating XT4 file system.
I want to choose basic installation. So press next. Checking dependencies in packages selected for installation. Good. And now starting installation process. And for that, it takes time to continue. So, after about 20 minutes, the installation has finished, and before the reboot, I want to verify with iSCSI target. So, with the iSCSI target, with the command tgt admin minus s. So, look at this IT Nexus information. IT Nexus Initiator IQN 2013 11.tn.1 Initiator Red Hat, which is the same initiator which I chose it during the installation, and the IP address is 251. And that's good. So now I will reboot. Go. Now the system is going to reboot. So now I'm finished the part one, step three.